Okay, so next, fitness is a lifestyle. How can I make long-term sustainable changes and avoid those short-term ones that will potentially make you rebound? Good question. I like that question because a lot of people, uh, they, they are so obsessed with quick fixes. They are so obsessed with very, very fast changes. I mean, we just go out there and just go, just go into any fitness website and go to any fitness website services and you will find transformation photos. Transformation photos left, right, center, up and down. Uh, personally, I am a bit... I'm a bit tired of all of that, and um, unfortunately, the market still demands all of those things. Um, but just to answer your question, I've seen a lot of, I've seen a lot of people rebound. I've seen a lot of people who have massive transformations, uh, but not able to sustain it. Um, to me, I'm, I'm going to give you a, a framework, a mental framework of how outcomes work. Okay, so at the very bottom, at the very bottom, you have an outcome. When I say outcome, I mean results, whether it's fat loss results or muscle building results. In order for this outcome to happen, you gotta have, uh, you gotta be, you, uh, certain amount of actions would be necessary. As an example, if you want an outcome of being able to run five kilometer within 30 minutes, you gotta be taking consistent actions towards that outcome. I mean, you gotta probably be trained three times a week, at the very least, or four or five, I don't know, but, um, you gotta be doing something, right? So likewise, if you wanna build muscle, you wanna, uh, you want to burn fat, you gotta be training and you gotta be taking care of your food uh, and your recovery at the same time. So on one layer above that, okay, this is the hierarchy. Bottom is the outcome. One layer above that is your behavior. And when I talk about behavior, I want, I want, I'm talk, I mean the kind of actions that you take consistently over a, du over a certain duration. And what comes after that is a decision, okay? I'm talking about action. So, decision, action. What are the actions that you take in order to create that kind of behavior? So, are you drinking? If, let's say, you are, the outcome is you being uh, dehydrated. Maybe, 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 you are, uh, maybe what's holding you back is you're dehydrated. Let's assume that, take that as an example. The behavior is that you have a habit of not drinking water or the lack of habit of drinking water. And the reason why you didn't drink water is because you didn't make a choice to drink water. No, so so you, as you can see, a single action can cascade into multiple, um, hmm, how do I put it? Um, you take an action, it will turn into, you take, you take one action and you take that one action consistently on a, on a consistent basis, it turns into behavior and a, long, a, a behavior turns into outcome eventually. But before that, before all that, before the kind of action that you take, it's actually the mindset. Because uh, what kind of action that you take, what kind of decisions that you do, we tend to make the kind of decisions that we like rather than what we need. And uh, if, if for, most of, for most of us, if we have a choice to not work, we will not work. And the only reason why we work is because we saw value in it. Um, talking about this, did you know that um, that pellets are developed. As an example, if you are uh, if you are a kid, uh, we, most of us aren't born with a palate to eat spicy food. Most of us aren't born with a palate to eat to drink alcohol or beer, or have uh, or have coffee. Most of us, are, when we are young, we tend to look at food as ugh, ugh. but we get conditioned. We get con our, our taste buds get conditioned, and because of that, we tend to make certain food choices. Okay action and we make the same food choices over and over again until it becomes a habit behavior and if we keep on making the same uh, we keep on having that behavior for an extended amount of duration of time one year two year three year four year eventually it became something of an outcome maybe we get fat maybe we get uh, we get cancer maybe we get a heart attack I don't know there are all kinds of ways which it can go very well it can also go very not well so imagine if you love salad, if you love salad and if you love exercise and if you love training, right? Then you would tend to unconsciously do these things more often than you do the, rock, the, the kind of habits which are bad for you. So how do you, what is the question again? So how do you make long-term sustainable changes? Change your mindset. Um, change your mindset. Understand why, uh, before you even talk about what should you be doing, understand why you should be doing those things. Uh, one of my most um, incredible 
transformations for my for myself, not physically but mentally, came when I was uh, when I was being coached. Um, I used to hate vegetables, um, and, and and my coach actually told me that. Uh, before he even asked me, before they even asked me to, to eat more vegetables, they keep on giving me information about more vegetables, right? Uh, di- um, this is this, this is so and so. Oh, by the way, did you know that vegetables can give you this? Okay, that's all. Let's continue back to our lesson. And then next day, a few days later, they would give me a give me a, a, a fun fact about vegetable again, and we repeat that for several times a week for over three weeks, and then they asked me to have more vegetables. Today. If I don't have my spinach smoothie every morning, I miss spinach. So, yeah, yeah um, in order for you to make long-term sustainable changes, you're going to change your mindset. Then make the decision, okay, based on your mindset, change your, change your habits and your behavior, uh, which leads down to a change in habits and behaviors, and do that for a long period of time, you will have an outcome. So in HBCF, we are, very, we are not concerned. We don't make, uh, we make decisions based on outcome, but we do not, uh, measure how fast your progress is based on outcome, based on your scale, based on your dress size. We don't do that. What we measure the most is, what we want to know the most is how much has your behavior changed? How much has your mindset changed? Because we know that the more your mindset changed, the sooner your results are going to be.